Hello, and welcome back to EVE Online. Now, I'm going to be continuing with the Abyssal Dead Space tutorials today. And now, this is a big one. You better get your notepad ready, because today, I'm going to go over every single unit type that you can find in Abyssal Dead Space, what it does, how you should maybe prioritize who you're fighting. And this is very important information. This is way beyond, say, a beginner tutorial, but if you are going to kind of main Abyssal Dead Space to any extent, you need to know what all the enemies do, you need to be able to identify them the moment you jump through a gate and determine who am I going to shoot at, and that's what this video is going to help you to do, but it's going to be a lot, so prepare yourself. So I'm going to start with Rogue Drones, and these are the enemy type that I see the most running Abyssal Dead Space, but this is also the type that has the most naming variations because unlike the others, these guys have two naming conventions. They have a damage naming convention, so you know what kind of damage they do, because unlike the other enemy types, they can actually do every type of damage, but not at the same time. And secondly, they have their names that allow you to identify what effects they have, for example, whether they target paint you or repair each other. So let's start with the damage naming convention. So first off, we have Spark, which means EM damage, Ember, which means thermal damage, Strike, which means kinetic damage, and Blast, which means explosive damage. Now, for example, one of the rogue drones is a battleship, and it's called a Grip Tessera. The variation of these names would essentially be Spark Grip Tessera if it does EM damage, Strike Grip Tessera if it does Kinetic, and etc. If you spawn into a room filled with rogue drones, you're going to want to target whatever damage type you have a resistance hole to, or if you have no resistance holes, then whatever type of filament you're doing will be lowering your resistances by default you're going to want to target whichever one matches the damage type of the filament that you are doing. Now for the other naming convention, we have Snare Caster. This means that this rogue drone will web you to slow you down. Very dangerous, if, especially if you're doing frigate filaments instead of cruisers. Fog Caster, which means it's disrupting your turrets and missiles, so Another good target, especially if you're relying on these weapon systems instead of, say, drones. Gaze Dimmer, which means it's dampening your sensors. This is only really a problem if you become unable to target certain enemies outside of certain ranges. If your targeting stays pretty much where you need it, then this can be a later target. If you start losing pretty much all of your targets, then this thing needs to die. Next we have a Spotlighter. Spotlighters are target painters. If there are battleships on grid, or anything that can do an excessive amount of damage to you, then anything with Spotlighter in the name needs to die. And then after that we have Field Weaver and Plate Weaver. Both of these are logistic enemies. They will repair shield and armor, respectively, of their fellow rogue drones. If you cannot kill an enemy before the reps land, you might want to target these lodgies first, if there are no other EWAR type enemies remaining that can cause you any issues. Next up we have Drifters and Seekers. Now these two types of enemies can actually spawn pretty much together, unlike rogue drones who only pretty much spawn with rogue drones. Unlike rogue drones, they only have one naming convention, and that is for effect types, because they deal omni damage and have omni resists, so you don't have to worry about any specific targets. Now let's start with drifters, who only spawn in cruisers. You have entanglement, which means that they can web you, you have Null Warp, which means they will warp scramble you. This is a lot less harmful in filaments because it's not like you're going to try to warp out and you can't proceed to the next area even while there's enemies alive. So Null Warp really doesn't need to be a target. And then finally you have Null Charge. These are energy neutralizers 
and assuming you're in a cruiser, this should definitely be your first target because that will do a lot more damage to you than a web will. And now we have Seekers. We have a Lancer, which is just a generic damage dealer. It does not do any special kinds of effects, so it's not really that high profile of a target. Entangler, which is a Weber. Spearfish, which is a Warp Scrambler. Illuminator, which is a target painter. And do note, uh, Seekers tend to spawn with some sniper type enemies. So Illuminators, I would say, should definitely be focused down ASAP. After that, we have Dissipators, which are energy neutralizers. I can't even say this next one. Obfuscator, which is a sensor dampener. And Confusers, which are turret and missile disruption. And now moving on to sleeper drones. Now, sleepers only spawn with other sleepers. Same as rogue drones only spawn with rogue drones. One important thing to note about sleepers is they are all equipped with remote armor repairers. So it's probably a good idea to focus down the smallest, weakest ships possible first so that you have less remote repairers to deal with total. Out of their frigates, you have Escort, which are generic damage dealers, nothing special here. An Aegis, which is a enhanced DPS, they'll deal more damage than Escorts. Wardens, which will web you. Fire Watchers, which will neutralize your capacitor. You have Preservers, which are pretty hefty remote repairs for both shields and armor. For cruisers, they have watchmen, which are generic damage dealers, upholders, which are webbers, sentinels, which are energy neutralizers, and finally, for battleships, you have deep watchers, which are target painters, but from my own experience, sleeper drone battleships are not that dangerous, even with their target painting. So in a sleeper spawn, I would focus things more like preservers, and energy neutralizers before I'd focus a deep watcher if they spawn together. Next up we have the Triglavian Collective. Now honestly, I hate Triglavian spawns. The only kind of spawn I hate more is Rogue Drone Tesseras because Triglavian spawns, they all have remote armor repairers, beefy ones too, and they all have their special disintegrator weapons, which means the longer they hit you, the more damage they're going to be doing. It kind of ramps up over time, so you need some really good mobility, or you need to focus down all your DPS on one target and make sure you have as much transversal on whatever you're fighting as you possibly can. Triglavians have two naming conventions, but we'll go over the standard one first. To start off, we have Striking Triglavians. These are just generic damage dealers. We have starving, which is energy neutralizing. We have harrowing, which means target painting. Anchoring, which means warp scramblers. Renewing, which means stronger remote repairers. These guys need to die basically before anyone else, I'd say, because they already all have remote repairers. Buffed ones? Yeah, you gotta get that shit out of the way. We have blinding, which is sensor dampening, but Triglavians tend to fight pretty close, at least the Damovics do. And we have ghosting, which means turret and missile disruption. Finally, with the second naming convention, now this can be tacked on to any of the names that I just said, is Vila. If you see Vila in the name, that means that they are a drone boat. You do not need to kill their drones. If any Vila ship gets killed, their drones get rendered ineffective completely. And honestly, I would recommend just killing the drone boat rather than even worrying about their drone swarms. And now, unlike the Omni damage and Omni resists of other enemy types or the specialized damage types of rogue drones, Triglavians in filament specifically deal explosive and thermal damage. They deal mainly thermal damage, and then secondarily, explosive damage, so be prepared for fighting them in that manner. Also, this does mean, technically, that running Firestorm filaments will buff the Triglavian Collective a hell of a lot, in case you wonder why those are so cheap. Since Triglavians and Rogue Drones do not have Omni-Resists, they actually do have 
special damage types you can deal that will kind of blast through their defenses. Now, first thing to note is it's almost always better to just go for the damage hole that you're creating with the filament type that you're running. But, in case you want to min-max it, their standard defense holes for Triglavians, in order, are Explosive, Kinetic, Thermal, and then their strongest against EM. So, if you're running Exotic Filaments, honestly, I'd say just run Kinetic, because that damage buff to Kinetic will probably make it more effective than focusing Explosive. However, if you run a filament type that buffs explosive damage, then the Triglavians will be very, very disadvantaged if you're actually matching your damage type. But yeah, you now know anything and everything to do with the enemy types in Abyssal Filaments. If you made it this far, congratulations. I hope this helped. I hope this didn't overload you. Hopefully you can check back to this and it will save your life one day. If you want to see any other EVE Online videos, let me know in the description below. Let me know what you'd like to see me do, because right now I'm mostly out of ideas. But uh, thanks for watching, hope this helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye